Generic greetings and welcome back once again to a hopefully chill session on Kingdoms and Castles where, as we can see, Generican, our bustling city, has an occupant that has turned the heating up to 11 and has started to burn down their property and the recently built bathhouse is completely frozen over so perhaps every single person in there is from Iceland or Finland or insert other generic cold country here. In the previous episode we built the Nori Aqueduct and Reservoir Network which is now functioning quite well and obviously expanded the walls as well. In this episode we want to continue on and try out some more irrigation stuff, perhaps even put in a fountain, things like that. Either way we can see that the next dragon attack is in the next year so we need to go to job priority and turn on the ballista operators and indeed the archers and what we'll probably do is knock up our tax rate and keep that on because as people pointed out that I sort of overlooked you do have a soldier skill and when they are like high skilled I'm assuming they fire better more accurate uh, maybe increased range etc do more damage all the above none of the above but either way a higher skill can't be bad uh, we also have the the maximum range and indeed the current maximum range with that circle as well which I was sort of questioning in the uh, previous one okay so looking over to the center here I was mentioning and thinking about maybe putting in a great library in the middle perhaps you know do something like that I've decided not to because quite frankly it would delete far too much it would delete the library the fire brigade hospital etc however I do still want to do an overhaul here and it's probably going to be placing in a very nice fountain a large fountain in this location but that will require us to demolish this property so we need somewhere for them to go so let's go to the manor rotate that around and place it there and then a similar sort of thing probably in actually just at the back of this bathhouse if we look we've got a couple of places if we uh, have a look around like places like here where there is just like little gaps where we can place like a little little cottage and such so that would be quite nice and then what we'll do is demolish that and obviously that will make sadly some people homeless that's a problem however once they've built these houses we should be okay and then what we'll do is expand the aqueduct network across here obviously connected up to the well mm, it says must be on irrigated land in brackets near a reservoir so this is not near a reservoir so i'll have to place a reservoir around here probably and there's a horrible plague sweeping the land luckily we do have 94 health it's an excellent health service so hopefully it will be okay uh, we have a hospital there, we have a clinic in here, we have a clinic somewhere else. We have good clinics around anyway, so that's that's alright. Anyway, as I mentioned, we are waiting for the next dragon attack. Now, if I click on each one of these, we should see, yes, soldier skill is increasing. So I think what we'll do is keep that soldier skill on, which should be hopefully alright. Looks like we're on uh, 527 people, three of them idle, and beds is 510, but this is is almost completed they're just finishing the roof same for this location and looks like that cottage is in so it won't take too long for people to be back in a nice home although it is a little bit chilly at the moment so expanding the Noria and aqueduct network is going to require obviously a lot of stone if we go over to food and aqueduct we can see it requires five wood 40 stone and 15 gold the gold being obviously a quite an expensive proposition when we're going to be expanding along here and also it doesn't say about any maximum range, but I don't know whether that's a thing. The fun is in finding out, so maybe there is a maximum range, maybe there isn't. I'm hoping not, so that's fine. If there is, then well, you can see the salt water around here, so I don't know what we'll I don't know what we can do to increase that range. We'll just have to try it and adapt, overcome, etc. as we progress on. Looks like that is now sorted, so I think we can go and build a large fountain in the center there. And there's the dragon sighted. Oh, that says two dragons. One moment. So large fountain, just to finish off, provides all the benefits of a fountain, but in a larger area, with bigger happiness bonus. It must be on irrigated land. The fountain says, provides accessible uh, access to drinkable water and also benefits of a well but in a larger radius also provides extra happiness so it provides the benefits of a well so that means that basically this well here we wouldn't really need and actually that means that it potentially then we can place in a reservoir 
probably there and it would reach that so we wouldn't need to expand along which is even better so that's what I'm going to do either way we have some dragons coming in from well I don't know what you class at the north currently north of our screen here and they are coming not in a flight pattern that I really like because quite frankly these things here although the skills are starting to increase it's actually sparse cover we've got this one here and then the other ones around this is like the the wall with the least defenses although we do have a couple of extra ones in this corner which are in range if it does fly across and also this one in the center and this one here as well so actually now that I think of it the defenses are not too bad so they are splitting up but it looks like the one on the left here is taking a lot of damage and won't last long and there it goes it's now down the one that's coming to the right which is well, looks to be coming towards the center is getting shot by archers and that is the end of that so that did not take long <laughs> it burnt down the windmill last time and I know people mentioned oh we should have rotated it around <laughs> you know that gives us the option to rotate uh, perhaps that is so um, in, in terms of charcoal we've got minus 15 total which I did not so I think what we'll do is check out our industry and one two I think we're gonna place another three charcoal burners there and get them sorted obviously this is right near the wall and all this wood so I'm hoping that it doesn't set fire to the lot but we'll have to see how we get on so it looks like we have managed to have managed to fend off against those dragons 11 years until the next dragon attack which is good but viking invasions obviously in the next three years as well so i'm going to demolish this well oh there's actually the before i do that no i will do that now so i'll demolish that well and i will place in a reservoir there followed by the aqueduct just to there and that should hopefully uh, allow that to be connected i was going to expand Band it along here and then demolish that cottage but it should be okay now anyway the merchant is in and we'll have a little chat we can see that they have nothing of great interest to buy so like no technology for example however we can go ahead and sell some stuff to them some wares mainly basic resources there also looks to be some iron so we might as well do that and also tools it wants to sell them tools but we're currently on oh, plus one tools from last year so I'll sell them I sell them actually none you know I'd rather just keep the tools and sell them uh, the other stuff in fact do I even want to buy some charcoal while they're here 49 charcoal it would cost us a lot of money cost us a real big amount of money but we can afford it is that charcoal yes so we're gonna buy that charcoal off them because as I said we are a bit low on that one so I'd rather buy that this well is getting oh this sorry uh fountain is built you can see it says sire something is wrong must be an irrigated land near a reservoir so it looks like the reservoir is being built quite well there that's okay so once that's done that should be all up and working which is exactly what we want right over to advanced town then and we've got other options so things like a bathhouse we've already got we've got all of these like statues and such which i don't know what to do i'm assuming perhaps happiness that's generally what they do and we've also got these um, gardens but is it time we upgrade to a cobbled road is it time we upgrade all of these to a cobbled road it's not unreasonable to do that it will cost money and some stone but we have both also an archer school would be quite nice as well but the archer school I would probably build back here but I'm very aware that our advanced town and cathedral, the cathedral goes very nice in this location. So I'm probably going to build a cathedral there. And you can see in terms of the area effect, it's quite large and only misses the bottom right there. And oh, hang on, we have got a fountain. The fountain is nice and it's bubbling away quite nicely. It works. Yeah, so happiness 10 in radius, base happiness 0, receiving congregation 10. So increases the happiness of people around here. That's good. That's very good. So we're trending towards 82, and that's because they're in excellent health, with good health care. And also, yeah, just because we've got all of the all of the other bonuses, library and that oh, that's cool excellent okay over to our advanced town and cathedral then and i think we'll place a cathedral i think do you want to have it that 
which orientation that way or that way I think that way seems to be a bit better so we'll place a cathedral there and then we will build a stone road back here and what I'll do is I will upgrade the roads around this area and that's as far as I can go <laughs> it can't build we can't build any more because it costs gold and well we are we don't have much. It's only five gold, to be fair, so it'll, it'll be... Well, it won't take long for us to collect all that. The issue, obviously, being that, uh, well, we can see the cathedral does cost 325 gold, so it's quite an expensive thing to build. And Oh, there we go. Look, we don't have nowhere near enough gold to um, staff <laughs> all of these things here. I wonder if we put the tax rate up to 25%, which is quite high, I think, but... And we're still trending towards 70% happiness, but it is for the you know the village's benefit i think that would be would be all right so we'll see how we get on looks like this location here is not going to be fit for for sadly uh place for arches and such i if we check that out where is it in castle the archer school is well, it's possible we can fit it in but they need to use stairs so i don't think we'll be able to fit a a road around the outside. I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see anyway. Also, I do want to build some gardens. If we go over to... Where is it? Advanced Town? Yeah. Got these gardens, which I think you can just place... Like, in there. And yeah, it allows them to... You know, they can walk through them and such. Let's see, let's see exactly what it says. And... A nice, quiet, and happy place for villagers to stroll through. Bonus happiness if irrigated. Bonus happiness if placed adjacent to other gardens. Travel speed slower than normal roads, but faster than nothing. Right. So the main, the main road in the centre, we probably don't want to place that. Um. So we'll see. We'll have to see where the best option for that is. I mean, things like back here would be quite nice as well, but only bonuses if irrigated. So you know, it doesn't really work out. It won't be irrigated. I mean, we could say irrigate this central one here, but again, that's like a. I wouldn't say it's a main walkway, but we can see there's a lot of people going through it, and I don't want it to slow them down, you understand. The question is, does it put. Ah, I see, it doesn't class as the stone road. Um, I don't know. I think we'll go. We'll worry about that later on. We'll do the stone road first. Ah, yeah, the archer school, we would be able to fit it in, but it would just be is a sort of dead end around here and we wouldn't be able to connect anything else to it. I think we'll end up having the archer school over in this corner. Anyway, back over to our town and to the stone road and we're going to place a stone road down here. This is, like I said, the main sort of thoroughfare around the place. So that'll go right to the end and obviously this is quite an expensive thing to do but I also think it is, at this stage, quite worthy of... Um, our attention. Although we've just spent all the money that we would pay the people that defend our empire, so that's a problem. Uh, <laughs> hopefully the tax collectors will go ahead and collect tax sooner rather than later because we have a Viking invasion shortly. In terms of food, we seem to be all right, although yeah, we've got a lot of food available for, in terms of the wheat, but not from the other one. It does say we have produced it, but obviously it's been eaten as well, so yeah. It should be okay. Wheat slash bread, 100%. Fish, pork, 98%. And fruits. So we actually need more fruits. So more orchards. And the way we'll do that is by probably demolishing some of this and placing an orchard around there. We can do that. So let me chop the wood around that location. And we also want to place one around here. But that requires irrigation. Which means obviously having to run the aqueduct network all the way to this location. But we'll do that uh, later on. As you can see, the roads are getting built, and that has actually made it quite nice there as well. 39 people visited, but none could find a home. Yes, that is that is true. And I think the reason we're not collecting any money is because the priority is set so that we don't collect taxes. I think builders are higher. So as soon as we get these building tasks completed, then the tax collectors will set to work. Let's confirm that suspicion. And yes, Timberworks Quarry Workers, Builders 7, and then down there we can see we've got Windmill Workers Stockpiles. Yeah, and then where is... 
Tax collectors is down here at like 58. We're going to increase that up above, say. Yeah, put about 20. That's fine. But hopefully, once we've collected that, we'll be all right. Viking attack shortly. Don't know where it's going to come from, but we're going to find out. So we have... Oh, we have a Viking invasion from what would be our southeast. And there's three of them by the look of it. But there's also a fourth from the northwest. So this is, I believe, the first time we've seen a split invasion. So I'm going to select our three armies here. I can't really call them armies per se. Is it called armies? What do they actually call them? Just swordsman squad. So select our three squads and we can see they are coming down to this edge i quite frankly don't rate their chances highly because they are going to land in an area where it is highly defended and highly defensible big wall around the outside lots of these towers in fact you can see that their ship is actually getting shot already uh, <laughs> so we'll see although to be fair there's not a lot of defenses here so that ogre might very easily smash through the wall although looking at it there's only been one volley out and it's already at half health so if we have another couple of shots that thing is not going to last very long and indeed there it goes so they've lost the the big uh, ogre giant that's now been taken out so that's good. Uh, Vikings destroying the invasion. You can see that's uh, that's actually <laughs> increased the happiness, obviously, of these people. We can see that some of them have split off to go towards the fishing hut. And I don't know if they're just going for the road. Yeah, they are actually going for the road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of our forces here and bring them up to the center. And where's the third one? I think, oh, there's, they're actually, they're actually interpenetrated there. There's two forces there. We can see double banner and they're actually going around the outside that's something i didn't expect so these forces are heading around the outside where we've got the noria here and we'll be able to hopefully plug the gap so we can see that yep we've now smashed into their forces no no take care of the guy that's ran past you please that would be of most importance there because they are running through and running actually using our roads to go quickly past although i think we've just taken them out so We'll head back and it seems to me that they've been destroyed. Over here, that is the same thing. So where's the remaining Vikings? That is going back. Oh, here we go. They are coming towards the middle. So I'll send these guys probably here and we'll see what they do. Although, quite frankly, I'm not really too bothered what happens here. Um, and I've just realized... Did that? Yeah. There's the advisors. I always assumed that the advisors were no longer talking to me. But actually, the exclamation mark is simply hiding in here. Hang on. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> interesting. I've never seen that before. That seems to be a bit of a bug. And Hang on. Was that a lightning strike? that just struck that was a lightning strike that's just struck these guys ah we are blessed the viking army has been awed by the majesty of our cathedral and converted 12 have joined our kingdom as peasants well <laughs> that's cool improves villager happiness in a very large radius vikings that enter the radius sometimes convert to peasants and join your kingdom that's excellent Shame we don't have enough beds for them. Okay, over to the manor then, and we need to place some more manor houses, which we will do... Uh, I think we'll place them around here. This should be fine. So one goes there. The other one, it's not going to be a manor house, but it'll be a cottage, and we'll place it there. So we have had a the lightning strike, and then there we go. We saw that, we saw that work. So we will bring these guys back to the... Back to the barracks there none of them need to recuperate i don't think so that's all right excellent pretty happy with that very happy with that in fact and you can see so the village is turning turning towards 97 all right let's see if i can select this advisor in here or whether it's just a a fluke um can't see it it was at a certain angle wasn't it that i was able to select it but doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Oh, well, not going to worry too much about it. Right, in terms of our building then, continuing on with the stone road, obviously not the most interesting of things to build, I do understand, but 
I do think here a worthy inclusion and worthy of our attention as I've said and almost certainly there'll be sections that I miss because I'm obviously retrofitting this thing which is a little bit more difficult than just building it from scratch. I'm not going to place any more because I don't want to have people uh, complain about obviously lack of funds for these guys which are now highly skilled like I said don't know what bonuses it gives but it can't be a bad thing surely and are these guys highly skilled? They are highly skilled 75% and yeah we've seen our cathedral function not just as a place of worship but also as a defensive thing and that is the first time I've seen that first time I've even built it I think because that wasn't in the game last time I played it okay so we'll check the health health is at 92 which has actually gone down slightly I'm guessing as I said because of the fruit uh, situation however we also should really have a chat with the witch and it looks like I need to buy another cauldron they're not cheap she wants a oh, for, for, it says four years 202 I will send that money but I actually don't have it at the moment which is well the main prohibiting factor isn't it for giving someone something if you don't have it you can't even really offer it I can't really offer it in lieu of a favor or anything or say I'll pay it forward or take a loan out that's not happening <laughs> either way I'm glad we've managed to defend off the dragon and the Viking attack which was quite good we've seen that the main problem is that they actually go around the outside you know that's why we have these forces that we can move from one location to another so we have in the well with the extra which is all irrigated we have in the cathedral which is able to smite any vikings that come close what else can we build well we have a great library we have all of these all of these um statues which i may go ahead and do and i will send them there i've now sent them some money so you're a great patron of spellcraft let's chat again in seven years okay um and they have a dragon smite for 827 so that will function uh if need be and if we have the cash speaking of the cash we probably want to then build another treasure room stores more money because at the moment we're not storing a great amount of cash i could place it here and it would indeed fit in quite nicely so we'll place it there and we can place more if we need to and that allows to store and indeed i believe collect more cash i don't know if that will give us more jobs i don't think it will but at least storing some more would be good because our maximum storage is currently a thousand so you know doubling that would be quite good especially since some of the things that we need to use it as uh, yeah we've seen costs nearly 800 there's that house on fire but luckily it has been put out in terms of villages uh, they're not saying they're needing anything really and you can see there's good you know we've got yeah most of them have got like fish and things like that uh, there's the merchant that's just arrived we'll have a little chat when once again we'll sell stuff that we have excess of so we'll go for stone and is that charcoal well we do have <laughs> plus 33 so actually I didn't need to buy all that charcoal previously no matter tools 47 it's actually trying to sell all the tools what are we on we're on minus two total so I'm not going to alter that I'll just complete the sale and there we are because quite honestly we are going to spend a lot of that money on the road so I'm just checking over this side where we have all the road pretty much upgraded I'd rather do that, upgrade one side first, uh, technically this side needs building as well, and then we can obviously do the, the other side. A lot of money spent here, but hopefully spent in the right place. See this was always a point of contention, because when we place the road, I don't know if we need this road down the centre, I think we could get rid of that and place in like the like, like some cottages there. I think that's possible. Do I want to do that? Don't really need to, do we? Let's just keep it as is. It's a nice little legacy thing. And there's all the road. Just looking at our funds, not wanting to completely empty the coffers. 
boat. I think that's it. I think that's almost all of the road. Certainly in internal road anyway. External we still have more to build. Well, they're also getting a lot of money somehow. So, continue going. Imagine that wall. That wall is going to be coated in soot and grime, isn't it? From all those charcoal burners there. <laughs> so, yeah. See the money going up. And a lot of money getting spent. But, increase the speed at which people walk. And time is money, so hopefully... There we go. That should be it. That should be all of the roads, I think. There might be one or two that I've left out, but no matter. I could also demolish that pier. It's uh, not required. Originally we placed that because we were going to place the noria there, but that is salt water. Okay, so speaking of water then, we do want to irrigate this area, and the way to do that is to bring water over there. So what is the best way of doing that? Well, I reckon run the water along here, and then up and round, that is probably the way to do it. So let's go ahead and check out our aqueduct and run the, oh actually do I wanna run the aqueduct down the center? If I do that, we're already using, we're already I guess a little bit closer, but it's also gonna look a bit ugly I think. I'd rather, I mean I do like the look of it, but I think it's best probably just to hide it. So we'll go up to, well, we'll go there, 75, because we don't have the money to really build any further, so that's fine. And then, obviously, we need to come across, right, along here, and then follow this route, and then through here, and then we'll probably place the reservoir around this location, and it means I can place another orchard there, and I think I can fit one back there anyway, which is why I... Nah, too far away from a road, darn it. Okay. Um, what I could do is eventually, once this is irrigated, I can place a road across here and then demolish that one and then have one there and one there. That's... Th yes, so we'll demolish that and then have one there and there. It might work, we might have to extend the road, it's not a big problem. Yeah, 90, so progressing on quite nicely there and... Oh, hang on! Transport water from norias and reservoirs. Sire, something is wrong. Not enough water power to supply the building. Try connecting another noria. We need more Norias. I anticipated something like that. So, what are we going to do about it? Well, the Noria... We can place... If we if we level this off, we can place one there and one there and connect them all up. Which means, yeah, that is fresh water and all this is fresh water. So, that means... Pier like that. Castle blocks along... And to there, like that, and demolishing all of this. Because this, as I mentioned, wants to be our new expansion. So it's a little bit more further out than I thought, but it's not a huge issue. I think also, while I'm here... I want to place some more defences. Actually, I don't know if we need to. I'm certainly going to demolish that one. Go to there. Then another level of block work. There we go. And then finally, in castle, ballista tower, one, two. And then the merchant has arrived. Hello there. So... Oh, over the cell, and 49, 28, 47, charcoal, and complete the cell. So, what I'm going to do is actually up this. So, I want 200, 200, 200, 200, the rest's fine. Because... There's times when we've got lots of timber, lots of stone, and I'd much rather sell it than keep it sitting around. And... Ah! Oh, I can't place it there, so I need to get rid of that block. Hang on. 
we can build a moat. Slows down invading ogres. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. I've never tried this before. But can we alter the terrain? It is, it is digging the terrain down. I'll give it that. But surely that's classed as a moat block rather than a fresh water block. It seems to be placing it. It says moat slows ogres down. It doesn't say whether it's fresh water or not. I have a feeling it's not going to work. No, it works. <laughs> okay, that, I'll be honest, that does seem like a bit of a cheat. But I'm not going to complain. So if this one can provide power for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 blocks. I'm hoping each one provides a 20 block range. So this is going to obviously increase it to 60, which is, I think, enough. That's assuming... A, my math's correct. B, that's how it works. C, um, yeah, uh, in fig we trust. <laughs> I don't know. So, let's go to Aqueduct, and we'll have to connect these up. Oh, the bathhouses are too crowded. The peasants need more places to bathe. And, oh, look at that. They're not too crowded, they just don't have water. Right. It looks like it's... Yes, it's it's leveled that out, you see. So that's off and that's off. Oh, wow. So actually, now that I think about it, these Norias are actually providing a very strong backbone to our our town and city. Yeah, in despair, one's left. So we need to get this built sooner rather than later. Let's reduce that tax rate down just to increase that happiness. But once this is built, the bathhouse will be up and running, so it'll all work, and then this will be, you know, there. What we'll do then, we'll we'll initiate a festival, and, you know, again, increase that happiness there. So I'm just waiting for that to occur. And we'll have to see whether or not these, there's enough Noria power here. If not, I don't really know what the option is, because that's salt water there, because it's near fish. Well, that's fresh water there. If this was one further along, we'd be able to build it. Um, that's now in. That's now powered. And yes, it seems to be working. And then we're trending towards we're trending towards 88. Okay, that's fine then. That's good. Right. We still may need more bathhouses. I'm not ruling that out. It's just at the moment we're okay. Over to the stone road. And I actually don't need to build any further. I'm just checking the top down. Is there anywhere I've missed... Looks like the charcoal burner's eager to get off work on the Friday there. A little bit of extra fire burning. Okay, so over to our food then and the aqueduct. And that's going to run across to there. Can't build any further because of the uh, water. Sorry, because of the lack of stone, rather. And we have dragon sightings. Two dragons, north. Coming towards the most defensible side. Actually, no, this is the most defensible side, but it is the more side that's most open. So we would have expected that. And here comes the dragons. We can see the ballistas are turning to face, aiming and firing. And that's good. These should be highly skilled, 99% skill level. Looks like the other one is coming a bit too close, and they are getting hit by the archers. But the damage is very, very minimal. You can see it only a tiny little bit lost there. Whereas this other one who is, look, looks to be eyeing up our farm, is, well, it's dead. And, oh, we've got a farm destroyed. There we go. And it's set fire. It's, there's a, yeah, we've got a bit of a blaze at this place, and we'll have to rebuild that. But the rest of it should be put out quite easily. Okay. But it has, has it destroyed our windmill? The windmill is not destroyed. And people are trying to put it out. We have managed to put it out. So the only thing we lost there was... Sadly, two peasants. That was the biggest loss and a bit of farmland. So, considering two dragons attacked, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so continuing on with our aqueduct network. I was going to say aqueduct, which is a thing. <laughs> there was a an RPG called Magi Monsters, Magi Monsters, and it was sort of 
Pokemon Orbit in license. And yeah, they had very, very funny names for their for their Magi Monsters. So it was like Aqueduct, which was a duck, but also had like an aqueduct on the back. Yeah, uh, a bat pack, which is actually a backpack, but with a, it was actually a it was a bat, but it was a backpack. So a backpack with bat wings. And an Octopunch, which was an octopus with eight boxing gloves. Yeah, uh, yeah, three-year campaign for that. Uh, no, I did actually play it. Uh, but yeah, there you are. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue building this uh, aqueduct, which doesn't go very far. So, Fantasia Thrall has died of old age. Who's that? What's this? I'm building a scale. I'm curious if I weigh more than a duck. She wants some wood. Send. There you go. So we're now friends. So I'm wondering if like the price will go down. Hopefully it will. I'm also hoping that we're not overextending our our network here with this. But we'll have to see. Two years until the next Viking attack. But I want to irrigate this land. Let's see how far that would be irrigated if we were to place a reservoir in here. If we place a reservoir in this location, it would irrigate all of the required land, which is exactly what we want. So that'll go in here. And... Oh, we could just place it next door. Is there any point? Actually, I think that would be... I don't know. Might as well place it closer to the land that needs to be irrigated. Not that we can currently irrigate it. Uh, we actually need more people. It is a case of now we need more manor houses. So, if we were to build around here... Well, we actually have a market there and a tavern there. So, actually, it, around here is not too bad. It would actually work quite well. I will build a road along there. And actually, just to be honest, just I'm just going to build in that location there. Um, which I'm trying to... I'm trying to stagger the sizes of... Stagger the placement, rather, of the cottages and manors. Just to, you know, break the skyline up. Because it does look quite nice when it's like that. I also think we need some... If we are expanding around here. Which, to be fair, all of this is... Fertile land, not very, but fertile nonetheless. I think we're best off doing a bit of farming around here. Orchards and such around here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Orchards. All the way along. We could do that, couldn't we? Orchard there, orchard at the back. Just place some rows of... Rows of roads. That would work. Mm, I think that's a future us problem, but it would work. Anyway, that's getting built. Those are getting built. That means more people. So we've got a fountain. We've got a cathedral. We don't have a great library. A great library, I don't know where I would place it, but we'll have to see about that one. And I did mention about trying to get an archer school. And I'm thinking... I don't know, perhaps an archer school in this corner. I like it all connected to this, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I'd have to I'd have to remove some things. And I like the road going around here and along. Having the road go along here and up is good. And we've got this space here to build whatever we want. It would be nice to maybe place a garden all the way along there. Well, apparently you can build... Apparently it all connects up. Oh, I see. Right, yeah. So maybe this can be a nice little garden that goes around the back. Hmm. The peasants don't really walk there. How much are, how much are the gardens? Expensive. Uh, actually, it costs money, but I don't think expensive is the right term. Because, well, it is the right term, but we've got enough money. <laughs> like, actually, my concern is not gold, it's stone. The stone that it costs. But... I've placed that there just to try. Said you don't know until you know and the fun's finding out, so... There we go. That means a cathedral and a nice little garden around the back. Okay, I think we will probably leave it around there because we have progressed on quite nicely. We've got, uh, in no particular order, two extra norias to increase the distance in which we can have water... Uh, along our aqueduct network. We may still need to increase the size of that, but we'll cross that bridge if and when we come to it. We now have also a cathedral. We have more homes, obviously expansion to this side. We have then the large fountain. 
and more charcoal burners and just more people in general. Either way, pretty good, but obviously you can see, food's a problem. We need more food. So next episode, we will look at that and also, apparently, face off against the next Viking invasion. Either way, hope you have enjoyed uh, this episode and the series thus far. There's... Oh, there we go. That's a very nice little garden there. So we now have a cathedral and a garden. I mean, it's not the best weather for it. Pretty much British summertime. But there you are. It is what it is. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. Next episode, as I said, we will crack on and see how far we get. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed uh, the episode. And hopefully it's been a relaxing one. That's a lot of uh, tools and weapons there. I think... Uh, I think, I think we can just say yes. Uh, please just pr produce tools rather than weapons. We have <laughs> we have so many. Yeah. Uh, where are our weapons there? Yeah, just, just place 50. Okay, leaving it there. As I said, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>